Good morning and welcome back to the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning. If you are watching us live on Facebook, we do appreciate that. If you are watching us uh, elsewhere, we do upload these shows to www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We have audio and video versions there for you to check out. Good to be back in the booth. Sorry about the day delay. Had a little problem with the AC yesterday, and of course it is very, very hot. Uh, and this room that I use is is very insulated, uh, so could not do it yesterday without the AC. But we are rolling in today's show. Got that fixed. Uh, unfortunately, going to be talking about a, a lot of coronavirus stuff today. Getting back into that swing, unfortunately, as mentioned. But we will talk about that in just a second. Getting into your traffic this morning. Looking at some delays on I-12 westbound, heading into Baton Rouge, starting at about O'Neill. Little slowdown so far, not a complete stop, so you're going to be flowing getting into Baton Rouge, but it's still going to be a little slower than normal. Looking at some delays on those on-ramps getting on the I-12 as well, as well as some minor delays at Forage Club Road, River Road, and 190. 190 and other places actually looking relatively clear, though, so that's a good sign. It's already 80 degrees. It is going to be hot again today. We're probably going to have another heat advisement. Uh, going to get up to 95 as your base temperature looking at a heat index of anywhere from 102 to 103. So please remember, stay hydrated, wear light clothing, uh, unlike this jacket. Uh, and please be prepared if you do have to stay outside for long periods. Try not to do that. Uh, of course, again, it's going to be 95 degrees is your base temperature, going to get up to about 103 with that heat index and that humidity. So try to stay cool today desk fans, anything you can to try to keep your body temperature low. Please remember to drink water, lots of water. Want to talk about these mitigation efforts real quick before we get into your coronavirus statistics. Wash your hands for 20 seconds or more with soap and water. Wear a mask in public if at all possible. That is now a mandate from the governor. We'll talk more about that in a second. Six feet or more of distance between yourself and others, preferably more distance. Don't touch your face, my favorite one. Control sneezing and cough with your elbow or a tissue, 25 or less to a gathering, and stay home if you're sick and utilize telehealth to get in touch with your doctor, or stay home to work if at all possible. Getting into these coronavirus statistics, 79,827 cases, 3,315 deaths, 952,000 tests. So that test those total number of tests just keep going up and up and up. That's a great sign. It means a lot of people are able to get tested. 46,334 have recovered. 1,308 are hospitalized. So this is not, this is, this is one of those bad numbers. Uh, the hospitalizations are continuing to rise statewide. We are hoping to try to, um, as a state, try to get a handle on that number again, bring it back down. And of course, six, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> 142 ventilators. Getting into Livingston Parish, 1,565 cases on 100 and, oh, excuse me, 40 deaths, not 100, sorry, 40 deaths, 16,500 16, tests. I'm going to start those statistics over again. I am sorry. Even with the AC, it still gets kind of warm in here. 1,565 tests. 40 deaths on 16,000, try again, 1,565 coronavirus cases in Livingston Parish. 40 deaths on 16,500 tests. There we go. Today, Vice President Mike Pence is going to be visiting LSU's campus. He will be speaking at 3 p.m. Uh, to discuss the state's response to the coronavirus. Uh, we'll be sharing that video live on our Facebook page. Mr. David Gray will also be in attendance. He's going to be uh, probably discussing the mask mandate as well, according to Governor John Bell Edwards, who issued that uh, Saturday, that mask mandate. Uh, that was a constant request from the federal task force, uh, which is headed by Pence, up in Washington, D.C., uh, and they're constantly pushing that, trying to get folks to wear that mask. So again, uh, that the governor tried to sort of shift that off to the federal task force. We're going to see if Vice President Mike, Mike Pence talks about that today. Again, he will be speaking at 3 p.m. at Tiger Stadium, talking about the uh, Louisiana's response to the coronavirus, as well as the federal response to the coronavirus. Of course, we talked a little bit about it. The governor issued a mask mandate on Saturday. 
which means anywhere in public you need to be wearing uh, one of those approved masks that's cloth or better. Now, one of the things that occurred yesterday was that Paris President Leighton Ricks issued a statement. There was a little confusion surrounding that statement in that uh, people thought that the the Paris president was not going to enforce a strict mask mandate. He doesn't want to, but he's required to. That That's one of the things that kind of got lost in translation in that story. Uh, Paris president Leighton Ricks doesn't really have a choice. He does express that later in his statement, but he does start off hoping that businesses will not be strict and stringent regarding this, uh, and I do apologize for that little lag out, regarding the mask enforcement. So that re it really does come down to businesses. Now, when you get down to the business level, there's going to be sort of two levels of enforcement. The first level is if a business owner tries to tell a patron, you may not stay if you do not have a mask and they don't put a mask on, you can be removed as, as the person who does not want to wear a mask. If you do not leave, the business can call law enforcement. We talked with law enforcement yesterday, including the sheriff and both Walker and Denham Springs Police Departments. They will respond to that call. Now, all three departments are going to try to de-escalate the situation without having to use, I guess you can say, force or any kind of uh, uh, disciplinary action at first. But if it comes to that, they will. Now, on the other side of this coin is that anyone who sees a business who is not enforcing the mask mandate, they can call the state fire marshal or the governor's office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, GOSEP, to report those businesses. So there are, there are two sides to that coin, but everything sort of revolves around this mask mandate. Now, a couple, uh, a lot of people have said, well, why can they, uh, why could the police arrest me or anything like that? or charge me uh, if I'm just a person on a business premises without a mask. According to the governor's proclamation, it gives the law enforcement the ability to charge you uh, with remaining while not wanted uh, or remaining after having been asked to leave, uh, which constitutes trespassing. So those are kind of the two ways uh, that they might charge you. But again, law, local law enforcement looking to de-escalate these situations before they have to formally charge somebody. Uh, so. But again, businesses who are asking folks to wear the mask, if you can't get someone to comply and you can't get them to leave, you can call law enforcement. That is an option. Also, some confusion came out yesterday regarding sports. Uh, there was a report early on that if the state did not reach phase four, football wouldn't happen. Well, in a bit of confusion, the state, of course, has phase one, two, three, four, and onward. The LHSAA also has their own internal phases. So when that report came out without context, it looked like the state had to reach phase four, which of course for a lot of people, uh, especially the direction that we're moving meant, we're not gonna have football. Well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, the internal sort of phases for the LHSAA, uh, a lot of local coaches seem to believe that it's gonna be hard to get there. There's a good possibility that there'll be a delay to the start of the season, but they're still pretty confident that we're going to have football. And they are still preparing these kids like they're going to play football this fall. Of course, a lot of the other fall sports are a little less contact, including things like volleyball, uh, <clears throat> cross country, uh, those sorts of things. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly uh, where football ends up in terms of a start date. As of right now, practice starts August 3rd. Is sort of the first day of practice practice, not necessarily summer workouts. August 6th is the first day of full gear. However, again, might be a delayed start to the season depending on what internal phase the LHSAA is in. The LHSAA has to reach their phase four protocols before football can officially start. So again, these teams are preparing to start on time. May not necessarily start on time, but these local coaches uh, are confident that football is still going to occur this fall. So please keep that in mind. A lot of confusion yesterday uh, about, you know, the way necessarily people felt and what was actually going on. So I wanted to clarify those points today. Thank you, Ms. Dawn. It is good to be back. And uh, I am sorry for starting a little late this morning. One last time, I'm going to try these coronavirus statistics again without butchering them like I did the first time. 
79,827 cases statewide, 3,315 deaths on 952,000 tests. That test number is a very good number. 46,324 have recovered. 1,308 are hospitalized on 142 ventilators. That is not, neither one of those numbers is good. We're starting to rise again. Again, in Livingston Parish, 1,565 cases, 40 deaths on 16,500 tests. Got that one this time. Want to remind folks, Vice President Mike Pence is going to be speaking at 3 p.m. We will share that video uh, on our Facebook page. Mr. David Gray will be in attendance. He is speaking at LSU uh, to talk about the federal response to the coronavirus as well as the state's response to the coronavirus. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether or not he backs up Governor John Bell Edwards on the mask mandate. As Governor Edwards did say and has it repeated that the federal task force has asked him repeatedly to implement that mask mandate. Getting into your mitigation efforts one more time. Wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or more. Wear a mask in public, if at all possible. That is now a mandate. Six feet or more of distance between yourself and others. Don't touch your face, my favorite one. Control your sneezing and a cough with an elbow or a tissue. 25 or less to a gathering, preferably less. And stay home if you're sick and utilize telehealth to get in touch with your doctor. And stay home to work, if at all possible. Getting back into the traffic, please remember you've got some minor delays on I-12 heading westbound into Baton Rouge uh, with some delays on those on-ramps. Those delays uh, on I-12 are going to start roughly O'Neill. At 190, looking relatively clear this morning with some minor delays at Forge Club Road, River Road, and 190. It's currently 80 degrees. It's going to be another hot one. 95 degrees is your base temperature with that heat index looking at 103, 104. So please remember, drink plenty of water. Try to stay indoors as much as possible. Try to keep a fan around at all times. Please try uh, to... Um, <clears throat> oh, uh, I, I didn't have it. I had an upper respiratory infection. Uh, to clarify, Miss Deanna uh, Macalusos, I got tested just to be sure. We have uh, several ladies up front um, who are high risk, who are older. So I got tested just to be sure, but I didn't have it. Uh, I just had a, I get a, I get a very bad upper respiratory infection, usually about once a year, um, that I try to work through, doesn't work out. It kicks my butt. I go down for a couple of days and then I usually take another day off just to make sure that I get back to, back to feeling good. And then I get back to the office. So I, I do apologize for that. I probably should have clarified that I did not have coronavirus. I just had an upper respiratory infection that was pretty bad. Um, so sorry about that to, to clarify. Um, <clears throat> but I am feeling better. I am back. Uh, so thank you for asking. Uh, at any rate, uh, yeah, we just did our weather. So I wanted to remind folks, uh, please remember, we're going to be trying to get back into a regular swing of things starting to, starting today. Uh, I will be back tomorrow and we'll get back to more. We'll fig we'll find out what governor, uh, or excuse me, vice president Mike Pence has to say, plus what the governor has to say after that. Uh, and we'll also be talking about some of the regular things going on here in the parish. One last time, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning for the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. Want to remind folks that we are on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. We are once a week in print on Thursdays at $7 a month to get that in your mailbox. You can also pick it up in racks around the parish. Uh, we are uh, online, www.livingstonparishnews.com. We have an app to go with that. Once again, appreciate you guys joining us. Please remember that these shows are free online. You can get audio and video versions, and we will be back with you tomorrow morning.